Hi, everybody. Miss Kind again. And this time we are going to look at the Blockly game known as Movie. This one's really cool. There's a lot of things you're looking at here. Mathematically, you're looking at moving the drawing object on the on the Cartesian plane or on the coordinate plane, as you might understand, um, on the x, y axis. So it gets complicated fast. So we're just going to do five levels. And even the five levels are they're doozies. <laughs> and so I, again, I, I don't want you to get frustrated. We're, we're just starting. We're getting our feet wet in coding and programming and, and, and learning to think logically. So we're just going to do four or five of those and then move on to the next Blockly game. And you'll be seeing this stuff over and over again over the course of the year. And as you move into um, the AP computer science class, so you got to start somewhere. So it's very, it's very fun. It's a great, it's a great introduction to all these basic coding um, and programming terms and tools. So we're going to open the movie. And what we want to do on this one is we want to replicate the drawing that we see here. So you can see that you have blocks for setting the color and then you have blocks for making your movie. So you have to draw what you see on the screen. It, it, the computer doesn't know what is a person, what is a circle. You have to actually tell it what it is. So you'll see that you're going to draw the circle first and then you have to move it because when you start, when you just grab these blocks out, I put that there, you can see that block right there. If I give it another color, you'll see, let's see, let's make that yellow. So you can see that it's not where you want it to be. So you have to tell it the X, Y coordinates and the radius so that you see what it is you want to see. So we have to set the circle to be red. That's what the it requested. And the circle is at the coordinates 50 and 70. So the X is 50 and the Y is 70. That's why that's there. <clears throat> and the radius is 10. That tells us how wide the circle is going to be. Diameter is all the way across. The radius is halfway across. So you've got your, you have your, the head of your person there. So now you're going to draw the body, which is a rectangle. And the rectangle has a center of 50 and 40. So 50 on the x axis, 40 on the y. And then it has a width of 20 wide, see from 40 to 60. And it has a height of 40 because we started at 20, went up to 60. So if you're doing this on your own, you can count all that out. Miss Klein did it. Um, it's, it's really fun. I do all the puzzles before, um, before you guys uh, try it so that. Um, I can see what you're working through and struggle with you guys and see how to solve the problem. So you're drawing your rectangle and the next thing you're going to draw are these are lines and lines are a little different than a rectangle. So you'll have the, the, the line and then you'll say how wide is that line going to be. So this line started at uh, X on the X axis and it went all the way to 20. So it started here and went to so it started here at 40, went to 20. The Y on this one started at 50 and went to 70. So it started at 50 and went up to 70. So you can see that it, that's the direction. When you play with it and you move it around, you'll see the arm moving around. And then it's the width is only five. That's how wide that is. And so that's why it drew that arm that way. And then the other arm is opposite the other one. So you can count it over or you can um, use formulas to figure out what the other line is gonna look like. So you have your little person. So we're gonna go to the next one. And it tells you when you have completed it by making a little computer noise. It use, it's the sound of a modem. Okay, so now we've already got our head and body, but now we want to move one of the arms like that. So we want the arm to go from one end to the other. So I'm going to hit cancel. So you can see the only line changing is this, the right arm right here. And so it's starting, it's on the Y. You can see it's moving on the Y axis. It's going up and down. It's not moving along the X axis. It's moving along the Y axis. And it's moving based on the number of seconds, which is 100. 
So you're gonna to go to movie and you're gonna grab your time block. And then the time block goes in here. So we could actually do both arms if you want to. We're gonna put that in the Y. Just like that. But I think that this program only wants you to do the one arm, or, so otherwise it won't give you the correct answer. So we'll take that out because I wanted to be able to get us the correct answer. So as soon as we move that arm, it should tell us that we did it right. Okay, once it's already checked us, I guess it doesn't ask you again, so that's good. So if you wanted both arms to move, just grab the time block and you can have both arms go. It's really neat. But you can see it's only moving up and down on the y-axis. That's why we're putting the timer at the end of the y. We don't want the beginning of the y to change because we want the um, just the arm to go up and down, not sideways. So now we've done the arms. Now we're going to do the legs. Oh, see, see now it has the other arm. <laughs> this time it's neat. It wants the arm to go in opposite direction. So the right arm is going up and down. So it's happy with our code, but the left arm, what we're looking at on the left is going to go opposite. So we want to add a math equation in there and we want it to start with the hundred because that's what, how many seconds we know we're going to have and then put the time as the finish so that it counts opposite because remember it's going on the Y axis. So it just means we're where it's going to start at zero. So 100 minus 100, um, it'll start at, uh, or the, if we're starting at zero, 100 minus zero, but <clears throat> then um, it'll move up and down. So see how it started at 100. So it's 100 minus zero is 100. So it stayed up there. And then once it gets down to 100 minus 100, then it's down here at zero. So very cool. So you're getting a little math in there. We're getting a lot of math. You're getting math and you're coding. That's why this one's neat. But I, like I said, I don't want you to get frustrated. So we'll just go to level four on this one. It, it starts to get where the formulas are really long and I don't want you to spend too much time on any one of these examples. So we're gonna go to the next one now. We'll do level four and we're gonna stop at level four. So now we have the legs in here and you are welcome to go on. There's lots of tutoring programs about Blockly games. Just Google it up and you'll find someone if you're having trouble, you, you'll find someone who will walk you through it. So here we go with the legs now. So we had to build the legs. So those legs are just like the arms, but in different locations. So you see it starts, the leg starts at 40 on the X and ends at zero on the Y. It starts at 60 on the X and ends at 100 on the Y. So um, you can see that's where I had there originally. Then we have to add the time element to make the legs move. So once we have, and then you can see, you can choose the what the, um, the, the X coordinates are and then the Y coordinates are 20. So you can see the Y starts at 20 and ends at zero. So it starts at 20 and it ends at zero, starts at uh, 60, excuse me, 20 and ends at 100. So those are the opposite legs. But to make them move, this time we're going to use the X. Because this time the X axis is what's moving. So you see the legs are moving on the X axis. And that solves that puzzle. Yay. So you can see the code and you're welcome to try the rest of them, but that it was getting to be really time consuming and I do want you to move through all these. So good job. Uh, thanks for trying. Turn that in and you'll get your, turn that in and take a screenshot of your blocks like you always do and turn it into Canvas for your credit. Good job.